Hey everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back from the video of Age of History 2. We're going to continue this series. Uh, since uh, the last episode, I decided to switch it up, boys. Obviously, you guys, um, if you watched the last video, or if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it, uh, watch it because I explained everything. I'm going to switch countries. I'm going to switch back to the Americas. What happened is basically I decided to uh, do every single video. Uh, instead of 100 turns now, I'm even making it a bit even uh, faster for me to for the switch. So every video I'm going to have a new country, a new continent uh, that I'm going to go into. I'm going to the Americas once again. We're coming back here, boys. We're done with the Moors for this video. Uh, we've done as good as we could with them. Uh, there's really not a lot. It's was getting a little bit boring with them because I was all I had to do was colonize, colonize and colonize all the time got the ottomans and we also have the spanish right we liberate these guys but that's about it we didn't liberate anybody else uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to try and create another empire in uh, the america americas now we already did it with the aztec we did a pretty well a uh, pretty good job overall i'm going to try and choose somebody that could be very interesting i mean this purple faction right here would be kind of fun I, I don't know somebody that would be realistic enough to have types uh, to have a big time uh, Comeback right the Itza could be could have their chance as well We could have the Itza boys do their thing now. We got to remember now. We only have one video in total to do our thing So we could go for the north completely I think I'm gonna go into the north boys I'm not really interested in South America to be honest. So I think the north would be the best option get the Huron right here I guess they uh, get the Huron done or the Iroquois, really. Either one of these two. And I think I'm going to go for the Iroquois, boys. I'm going to make them so that they get a lot of territories right here. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that. So the Iroquois is going to be ours, our uh, nation right here. They're still tribal. They're one of the few people on the planet who are still a tribal nations, uh, nation. So still gotta work with that i guess uh game speed 200 400 of aggressiveness i'm putting out the max boys i want aggressiveness to be all the way up there i want people to f to to fight each other all right i want wars that's what i want i want uh, i want civilizations to fall and uh get destroy themselves fall and uh, cre get created so sandbox mode of course all of this uh, and the rest is good so Let's jump on in. So, as you can see, we're starting in the year 570, turn 1. Uh, turns we don't need to look into anymore. It doesn't matter. We could, uh, as, as soon as we get to technology level, 30, point 35, we're going to be able to switch to monarchy, which we are not actually going to do a monarchy. We're going to switch it up. And I think I might be tempted to just do a democracy uh, this time around, just because why not, boys? So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna have to do 80% for the technology right here, just like that. And all right, so we're starting with 17 points, and I can colonize anywhere, but I can also invade. When I when you're a tribal nation, what you can do is actually invade different territories. That's that is one thing you can do, boys. So we're gonna work on all of that first off. This is our capital, Oswega. We are going to attack uh, this place right here. So I don't need to worry. Uh, I don't need to actually. So I don't need to actually colonize it myself. You know, uh, I can actually uh, just assault it all together. And my points, I can actually use them to colonize somewhere else. So there we go. Just like that. And we got we're near, uh, near seashore. So that means ports and libraries as well. And we are bordering somebody. So that's that's that boys. We also have the Mahican. The Mahican, um, I think we already are pretty much not friendly with them. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, we're fine then. We're going to be fine. So keep uh, colonizing them. Uh, we, all, you, we already know that we cannot attack them until turn 5. Attack anybody until turn 5. So uh, we're going to have to wait on that one. But we have plenty of points to colonize around us though. So that is one thing I'm going to do. We're gonna look a lot. I think my main goal is really to go for Quebec mostly. So I think we're gonna look a lot like uh, New France, basically. That's 
probably we're gonna uh, what we're gonna look the most like uh, right here the, at our prime during our prime uh, at the end of the video and stuff like that that's probably what's gonna happen so we got Pittsburgh right here we're, we just took that we're gonna have a lot of fun eventually when I, if I liberate countries over here I'll probably liberate like the third colonies and stuff like that not if I liberate anybody here I'm not gonna liberate the the United States I'm gonna liberate the, the third colonies just to make it a bit more historical as to the timeline we're in right the closest possible uh, people that would be here so um, Montreal we're gonna colonize you there we go we uh, effectively have Montreal I think I might put it as my capital or I'll just put Quebec as my capital to be honest uh, I, I do want to do that probably so there we go we're expanding quite fast as you can see I'm using all my points to expand from the first turn might as well colonize right away actually yeah we might as well just do that uh, right away so use my my guy right here and we're gonna do the libraries farms ports all the good stuff this guy I need to give him the watchtower and the castle just uh, just because uh, he needs to be upgraded to max since he's my capital and all so we can't go further than this for now so we can only go to the north which is fine by me we're gonna get Shawinigan boys let's get Shawinigan now we're into territories that I know very well I mean this is my province in real life after all so I know these places pretty well uh, Montemblant boys let's go into that let's uh, get that we're not uh, getting bordering anybody so let's let me just make sure that you get the libraries actually I don't need to make uh, have any libraries or anything so that's pretty much gonna be that so we're working on that the rest is pretty much history let's move on to the second turn boys so within one turn we went from just a little capital right here to all of this that's quite a lot boys let's uh, keep working on military upkick I guess that's what the AI was working on uh, we cannot do any, anything until turn five so we're good on that part i'm gonna keep exploring right here i think this is quebec right here yeah there it is there it is boys so that's gonna be our capital right here quebec is gonna be our capital we're gonna do a castle watchtower port we're gonna build every single thing in there it's gonna be our capital let's do really quick let me uh, make sure that i get right here and move the capital to quebec just like that all right so quebec is my capital boys just like that we've got a brand new place so now this it's our center of the uh, place we're good let's keep moving uh let's keep exploring right here we could there's people attack uh, yeah so if there's people there defending this with these lands i am not even going to try to attack them or anything because i don't have a near enough forces to do anything against them so i'm not gonna try anything stupid but with the rest of my armies though because how many ter oh we got point, point 0.28 yeah so uh with the rest of my forces i'll just end up i guess uh, attacking really right just attack i got to send some i don't need to spend as many points as uh like i don't need to spend that many points boys i can just attack simply simply do that oh these guys are defended though so i can't do that uh, i can't go here though i can't go there oh because this is uh, uh wait i can't attack this uh, that place it seems like i can't attack that place that's fine i guess so quebec is just going to keep its forces uh you can go there you can go to art fort though so see what i'm talking about we're we're just spending sending my armies that i where i can uh do it at least i'm sp sending them there looks like there are the, the there are neutral forces defending these places so it doesn't seem like i'm going to be able to actually attack them that much and I didn't manage to get that. They got that first. The Pecot, uh, uh, I guess, got it first. And there are monarchy. Alrighty then. Well, they got they got there first. That's fine by me. So return four. Next turn, we're going to be able to go after these guys right here. The Mahi counts are going to be the first one I'm going to try and annex. So um, where do we want to go for next? Do I want to keep marching there? I think I might want to do that. I might want to just go there and yeah continue to go into this little territory right here for now at least you know okay for now keep colonizing these little lands okay there, there we go uh, i'm not too intrigued in going here for now i'm gonna keep just going that place the uh, sangne boys there we go we got a sign we got the the sangne which is uh interesting everybody goes there on vacation quebec boys in quebec 
this is the place you want to go on vacation for everybody goes there the old people always go there that's the where that's the place they go at all right so um let's see real quick let's five of upkeep now military upkeep which is very good for us we are in turn five we can still not do an ultimatum because it's 2.4 so we still have to wait a little bit how many points do we got not near enough and i do want to expand as fast as possible so we're just gonna get uh, the latsuk we're gonna get that we're gonna disband the army that's uh over there and we are gonna keep it moving really quick just like that we're still at 80 percent by the way um in point 29 of technology so there we go now we got enough points though to do the ultimatum which we are gonna do so ultimatum my guy boom mahikans they're gonna get destroyed we're gonna get annexed uh, right away just like that there we go we're annexed the uh, the mahicans and we're gonna assimilate them really quick just like that we are gonna get some troops over here and we're gonna work on the libraries and farms because we are bordering another nation Sherbrooke is already pretty much defended a lot it already have fortification and everything I think it was the capital of the mahicans so that does uh, help out uh, help out a little bit uh, we have Sorel Tracy. We're gonna get uh, a, basically a bunch of stuff right here. It's uh, near uh, shore and all, so that's uh, ba basically very good. Let's keep moving, boys. Where are we? At, uh, still at point twenty-nine right here. Okay. Now the next one that I want to go after the Picard boys. I want to get rid of all my adversaries right here, all my rivals. So one, two, three, four. Every single one of my rivals, I'll have to deal uh, get rid of them. I don't want any rivals left. Uh, so there we go. We took all of their territories. Just like that. We're going to assimilate all four of them, I think. Do we need to assimilate this? No, I think, no, there's two of them that we didn't even need to do anything about. So uh, these guys are not bordering anybody. So we don't need to do anything about them. Uh, th this guy, though, uh, we are going to need to recruit some people. And we're going to need to uh, do a library, farm ports all the good stuff right here supply camps as well all right so we, uh, we got a lot of, uh, of stuff really another point once again i think i'm just gonna there we go population growth i'm gonna do that next up do we want to we can't colonize this we uh, can't really go for lanap right they're oh they're very friendly with us the lanap is very friendly you might actually be tempted to just do a union we could do a union boys 2.2 though 2.2 points i might be tempted to try that out for the next one what about you though um the susquehannock do we uh, do we have enough uh, we have enough points right no we don't have enough to do an ultimatum anyways okay so let's just keep going right here i guess colonize these little lands uh levy there we go we're gonna get levy boys all these french names these french cities i guess already know them this is all the metro stations they all go from here to here to everywhere they, they connect everything right here all right so now we should have enough points and we got uh, uh, 0 0.3 so another point uh, 0 0.5 and we're gonna be able to switch to an actual real civilization and stuff but for now we can't do that so um, I'm gonna actually end up trying it out trying to the union out because these guys are plus 50 of opinion of us so let's try that out let's try it out if see if that's gonna work they refused yeah the union is useless then yeah union is completely useless we're not gonna do that uh, i am gonna annex these guys i'm gonna go after these one some uh, so send an ultimatum one two three four five all five of your territories my guy give it all to me just like that we're going to the next turn boom all right so we got his territories we got an extra point as well then we wanted to put it into income production income production for sure uh we are bordering a nation with this army so we're gonna uh, uh, gonna build up that uh territory right here the rest uh don't really need to build them up although is there anybody that i need to assimilate seems like only two of those territories okay and uh, over here, I guess what I can do is colonize you right here. So we'll go to colonize you, get some uh, bonuses for this territory right here. There we go, just like that. We are getting there. I think my next target is definitely going to go after these guys right here. So 
I think I'm gonna start um, I'm gonna start going after them insulting them just because I do need to um, to eventually be at minus 10 with them so they're very happy with me right now which I can't allow that to be a thing all right so I've insulted them as much as possible I'm gonna need a one more insult in order to uh, attack them so let's go for the next turn I'm gonna insult them one last time just like that and now we are able we have just enough points to do the ultimatum so one two three four five uh, or four i guess four territories and all four of you are gonna uh, go to me there we go just like that and we annex these guys as well so now that we've uh, we've got that done that is fantastic news we're pretty much on rival over here boys we're uh, moving quite fast i am not bordering anybody right here what I can do is send all my troops, I guess, or all my troops right here. There we go, to attack this place. And we're going to, I guess, send my troops right here as well. There we go. We're going to assimilate, or we don't have... Actually, we need people right there. There we go. Because we are bordering a nation. Uh, this guy right here is going to need some troops. And we're going to need to upgrade uh, this little place. Uh, Trenton. Now we're starting to be an actual... Um, English former English territory slash American territory right here. Now we're starting to be in there, boys. Uh, well, now the next stop is for me is uh, gonna be uh, to reinforce this uh, place right here, and we're gonna reinforce this uh, land right here. Same thing for you. You just go here, I guess, into Eri. Same thing for you. You go over there. Okay. Next up, do you have anything else? I think we're good. Uh, we're gonna colonize this. This little place right here so uh new york we are uh, colonize it boys so we got new york uh now so it's part of us uh we are having such a good time i mean it's so easy it's super easy to just get territories and all so uh I, it's it really sa it is saving me some time so all right so i set all my troops to die basically there which is fine by me uh next up we have enough points oh, first off we have one more extra point let's do income uh, production uh, you uh, Paul Hatton right here they're not that unhappy so we're gonna make them uh, unhappy with me really quick just so I can go after them all right that's done we can do the ultimatum to them they only have two territories so let's send the ultimatum really quick uh, let's hope that they uh, they are gonna accept um, assimilation we do need to assimilate these guys though forgot to do that uh, big time so that's Kind of a problem, boys. We can't be forgetting about stuff like that. All right, so now that that is done, we are going to assimilate these guys right here. Some of these territories, we don't even have to assimilate. Which is kind of funny, boys. I'm not going to lie. It's, fu it's funny as hell. So we're going to try and assault Washington with the armies I don't need. Uh, we are going to next clean that whole thing up. So uh, yes, I want to have this. So we're going to make it look a little bit more cleaner. We're going to get Atlantic City. Oh, we got a lot of troops from that place, which is very good indeed. Farms, libraries, supply camps. Let's get all of that. Let's get to the next turn right here. Uh, attacking, and we're obviously all, all my troops are going to die right here. All right, so that's that. We are at one point uh, or point 32. Just another 0 .03, uh, and we're going to be good, boys. So uh, let's keep it moving. Let's keep colonizing Den uh, Dover now gonna colonize Dover real quick oh hold on just like that get the farms get the ports boys get everything in there um, the, the uh, Iroquois are gonna be really powerful boys really powerful nation now not as powerful as like the Moors or anything like that but they're they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with nonetheless so uh, that's gonna be very fun especially since I got all the little territories from the American, uh, future American lands and everything. All right, so I got more, one more extra point. I should be able to get it at Alexandria. Let's get it, boys. We got a lot of shore places in here. Remember, the third colonies, uh, 13 colonies were um, uh, at first all on the shores for one reason. They didn't want to expend too much in the on unfriendly territories, but uh, as well, they had control over the seaport so they can trade with the English, right? So that's why they I'm doing basically the same thing. I'm always sticking to the shores. I can trade with people faster and only I don't need to reinforce myself in the middle. You know, the middle is uh, really not that interesting to me. 
So we're gonna go here and we're gonna colonize just to make it like I wanna make it look better. So Providence or Providence, we're gonna get you re uh, really quick. Uh, try and colonize these little lands really quick before we go after anybody else. Uh, the Huron is gonna be my next target, that's for sure. But before we get after them, I wanna make sure that um, it looks pretty for us already. You know, because we only have one video to do with them. So I wanna make it look as good as possible. Supply camps, everything, ports. We got Boston now, so that is something. But Boston, which was, uh, if I remember properly, actually it wasn't. I think it was Philadelphia, which was the original capital for the Americans. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not much uh, of a big historical guy for the American side. Uh, obviously, I'm not American, so um, I am. A, I like history a lot, but I'm not like a, a big history buff on that part, so... You guys would let, uh, have to let me know if that's the case or not. But I'm pretty sure Philadelphia was the original capital uh, at first when the Americans um, began to their revolt or whatever. So the Huron, uh, we're going to go ahead and insult them a couple of times just so eventually we can attack them. Uh, I think we, yeah, we can actually send the ultimatum already. We just have barely enough points to do it. So let's ask for all their four territories right here we're gonna annex them for the next turn there we go it's done so no more Huron boys they're officially uh the most dominant power really i would say in the north american uh landscape so that's a really good for us let's uh keep it moving right here we are going to assimilate everyone that we can uh, that we need to doesn't look like we need to assimilate too many people though once again because i think because we are all natives i think the game counts is as uh, us not having to assimilate anybody we're all basically the same so Toronto we got it we got London of course uh, farms ports and stuff like that libraries and supply camps so the original the second London boys that's right there is a London uh, existing in Canada uh, basically you can already tell I mean these are places that were colonized by the uh, the English by now so you can already tell uh, from the city names so next up i guess i could go after this guy right here he's all alone in his little place he only has one territory he's a tribal nation so i can take him out the ottawa uh i can take them out boys so let's do that we took them out uh, just like that pretty easily let's assimilate them do the libraries ports farms and everything uh right here uh as much as uh, as possible there we go we got all the little lands all of them are going to stick there because they're all on shore. They're all on technically sea and stuff like that. The Saint Laurent, which is uh, right here, boys. It's the biggest one. It's actually one of the biggest, if not the biggest river or sea, if you want to call it, in the entire world. Like the way the current goes and everything. It is probably along with the Nile, one of the biggest one, if not the biggest one. So uh, we've got uh, point 0.34. Just another point, boys, and we're going to be able to become a civilization. Ah, that's going to be very good. It's going to be very good indeed for us. We don't, we can't really do anything else against any other countries or whatever, or any other nations. These guys are pretty friendly to us. I'm not really going to go after them. I'm just going to colonize this place, this land. We're going to disband the army. We can't do anything with them. So uh, that's pretty much that. There we go. Let's keep it moving, boys. We got another extra point. Let's put it into income. There we go. All right. So now I'm just going to clean the whole thing up right here. I'm going to clean this up over here. So um, just make this as pretty as possible. Concord. We're going to get uh, you, buddy, real quick and upgrade you to max. We got to make sure that that is done. We are also going to get you Woodstock. Um, I guess you are going to go here. So Woodstock uh, is going to be good on its own. And we don't have any uh, extra point. We do, however, we are able to uh, go for that. We don't have enough points, though, to do anything uh, yet. So we're going to have to go for the next turn. And there we go. So now we're in the next turn. And we are officially going to become a monarchy. Now, do I want to be a monarchy? I'm not sure. But let's civilize. Let's become civilized. There we go. And our, and our nation changed colors just like that. When you uh, become a civilized nation... You slightly change your colors. You become a little bit more darkish or something like that. And we're now like literally purple now. 
uh, what I want to do is I do not want to be a monarchy. I actually want to become a democracy. All right. So that's what I want to be. I want to be a, a democracy, boys. So let's let's be just that. I actually cannot go for monarchy. I don't think so. I need points or do I need points or something? I don't think I can. You know, I can't go for minor uh, democracy, boys. It doesn't seem like it. There's only three civilizations are the democratic. There's one civilization that is a fascist, which is very interesting. I, don't, I, wish, I wonder which, which one it is. I don't even know. It won't tell me, though. All right. Well, in that case, until I can switch governments, I guess uh, uh, I'll keep it as it is. But I really want to eventually be better than uh than a monarchy i don't want to be a monarchy you know so let's put out 75 percent because this is our farthest that we can go i could have if i really wanted to stick to tribal nation but here's the thing with a tribal nation is once you get to once i'm going to switch for another country they might have a, a slight chance of all of this being lost to them i don't want that to happen i want to keep them as a big empire so the the iroquois that is so that's why I'm doing this, basically, so that they uh, actually keep the, all the territories they've gained, you know? So let's get uh, Degilis. I don't know what, uh, how to pronounce that, actually. I never heard of, of that uh, place before. Never even heard of that, boys. We're doing so good right now. I look at how many points I'm gaining uh, at, uh, so fast, too. So uh, year 585. Uh, Holton. Let's get Holton real quick. Let's get that. Uh, we are going to get rid of this uh, the army that's in there. And we're going to uh, get Bangor right here. And we are going to expand that uh, place up big time. So ports, farms, and everything uh, over here. Just make sure to upgrade as much as possible this little place. Supply camps as well. All right, that's pretty much that. Now to think about it. Yeah, let's keep moving. Let's keep ex expanding. Boys, St. John. Uh, we're going to get uh, that place a big time. It's funny that Fredericton, which is a very big town, it is the capital of New Brunswick. <laughs> in this universe, it's pretty much not going to be developed too much. And St. John is going to be more developed than this. So that's kind of going to be a little bit funny, to be honest. Uh, let's get... Uh, which one is that? Is that uh, Moncton? Oh, it is Moncton. So we are, we're going to get Moncton, boys. And uh, we're going to do the supply camps and everything. We are starting to border a lot of the sea places. So starting to do uh, quite a lot with that. Um, for uh, the next part, I think I'm, we're coming up towards the end of the video. So what I'm going to do is I try and expand the video as much as possible right here. Because I want to be able to to like expand, my, uh, expand this territory, expand this, uh, this faction, right? The, the Iroquois. I want to make them... As strong as possible what I can you know so we are gonna do as much as possible we'll just one more turn one more turn this is gonna be our last turn right here boys because I don't want to cheat too much I said uh, each video we would do something different so we'll do that but uh, look at that so we're gonna get this these two the territories we're gonna get them uh, finally right a dead last so we're gonna get those we're gonna get supply camps and everything, and over here I can act. I, I can't actually uh, get that territory, which is a shame. All right, we actually are in the age of expansion, I believe. So we can do fascism. The only thing we can't do is industrial uh, industrialization. Now fascism or democracy, which one looks the most like? I could do the a republic as well. I could be a republic. Yeah, democracy is kind of overwhelming, underwhelming. I think Republic would be the best course of option. Uh, then again, fascism looks very nice, but uh, let's be let, let's be friendly uh, with this one. Let's try and be uh, Republic. There we go. So we switched again. Swiss, uh, we switched again, and now we, because we are an actual Republic, our colors switched a little bit, boys. I'm actually going to get the Riviere Rouge a little bit, because we are going to need to save anyway, so... We might as well uh, do it right here. Let's uh, let's do that. At actually, uh, this guy I need to reinforce him somewhere. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna save once again and go in there. Boom! All right, there we go. It's saved. The game is saved. Uh, we can probably send some points. He's got some points right there. 
So there's the error quest. Now we've got like 71 provinces. Let's look around the world. Ninth, I believe. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninth biggest empire in the world or biggest country. So that's that. We are right beside the Han Dynasty. So we're doing all right, I guess. Uh, the biggest one is the Kanju. I think the Chiang are only there now. They, they pretty much lost everything they had, right? I think they've lost everything they had. So now it's going to become the same problem where they can't go anywhere. They're separated from each other. So the war is never going to end, probably. It's never, it's never going to end until I get in there and I end it myself once again. You know, it's probably going to do like the Han Dynasty. Uh, over here, there's a bunch of small places you can see starting to expand. You've got the Suma right here uh, growing pretty big. Very interesting uh, set of events right here. We have some sort of Thailandish uh, place, the Sion, which are becoming a, a big thing. The Morse is still very big indeed, of course. Uh, they did expand. It looks like they did um, attack uh, one of the territories they've got here. Axum is still alive though. And uh, the Gascony on their part, well, they're still at war with the Romans, so... Uh, the whole war has been like a hundred years war or something. It's been a long time. That, that war has lasted for a while here. Uh, the Alumni is still in um, a rebel. Uh, is still at war with rebels and stuff. So they're still struggling a little bit. Marconi. Uh, the Picts are not doing too much. Yeah, the Picts are pretty much at peace with everyone. They're, love, they're, in, uh, like they're literally... Uh, they like everyone. They're not, uh, they're friendly to everyone, so they, they have nothing going for us. They're basically going to probably stick that to that place uh, forever. So next video, we're going to hop on into the, to the European landscape, which is going to be very, very interesting. I don't think I'm going to end up dealing with this at all. I don't think I'm going to do anything about this whole situation. I think I'm going to just end up going over here and start creating the whole Russian landscape, right? Colonizing everything over here. So it is done at some point. And we're gonna start creating Russia. I think that's the main goal, boys. So uh, I'll leave it for right now. Remember to give a like and subscribe to the enjoy video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.